Hey, Miles Beckler here. In this video, I'm about to actually delete another 15,000 subscribers from my email list, and that'll total approximately 30,000 here in the recent past. And I wanted to kind of show you how I go about this process, and I wanted to explain why I'm deleting all of these subscribers from my AWeber list. Now, this is just one side of what I call scrubbing the list. And as you grow a large email list, what happens is you start to get a lot of non-engaged or disengaged individuals on your list and if you keep mailing these people who aren't opening your email and you end up going to spam or they're clicking spam or they're dragging you to the promotions folder what happens is your deliverability rate for those who want to hear from you can suffer you know all of the email service providers whether it's Google or Yahoo or Hotmail or AOL or whatever they are they're all monitoring how much engagement you're getting with every single email and if they see you sending out 10 20 30,000 emails that just never get opened day in, day out, month in, month out, they will start to penalize you based on your IP address and based on your sending email address, and it will actually harm your de deliverability, which means the people who want to hear from you won't be able to hear from you as well. Um, so what we do is we create this um, re-engagement process, and I use a third-party add-on tool called AW Pro Tools in order to help me re-engage people but I pull them off of my main list and I put them onto a re-engagement list and I work with them separately and I give them about 30 days and in the process of 30 days I'll email them probably four to six times uh, giving them a chance to engage with an email if they don't engage I ultimately just end up deleting them uh, it does make the list smaller but the money's not in the list the money is in the relationship you have with your list and if people aren't opening your email addresses then or if they're not opening your emails excuse me then there's no point you're you're paying for a subscriber who's not engaging and as you know email service provider fees whether it's AWeber ConvertKit or any of them active campaign or get response uh, when you start getting into the 10 20 50 100 thousand email subscriber range the the fees get substantial I mean they can easily be 500 to a thousand dollars a month so you really only want to be paying for individuals that are engaging we are going to go into the process that I go through here. I'll show you the tools that I use. But one other thing to keep in mind is that in a Weber specifically, you are actually paying for your unsubscribed subscribers until you delete them from your list. I have an automatic system built in to do that for me. It goes in every day via API and it deletes my unsubscribers. That way I don't pay for people who are technically unsubscribed from my list so these are the the kind of um, list scrubbing activities that are required as you grow as a marketer and let's actually get in and take a look at how do we work with these and how do we manage these so I'm gonna move myself out of the way here and let's go into our internet browser so first thing here I want to show you this video is from I think three days ago and you can see I had 94,312 people on my list and this is inside of my AWeber account right now and I have 80,358 on the list and I show you this just to, to show you that I, I'm practicing what I preach I'm, I'm actively deleting tens of thousands of subscribers I'm gonna get another series uh, another group of subscribers queued up uh, here very soon uh, on this video you'll watch and really the first few times I did this it was like nerve-wracking literally it was it was a mental challenge at best to be able to kind of like comfortably do this but now I realize that the long-term benefits the increased deliverability the more engagement with the higher percentage of my audience on email is actually creating a lot more benefits you know this number right here I'm gonna be honest with you this is a vanity metric right here the 80,000 it doesn't matter what matters is how many people are opening our emails how many people are clicking on our emails and how many people people are taking action and purchasing our products etc so how do you do this right well the first thing I want to look at is let's go we're on one of my main lists here one of my broadcast lists and I do have an automatic system deleting my unsubscribes but you can see here we've got a column that is unsubscribed and it's really low for me and that's because I have this system in place but you don't need the system it's 40 bucks a month um, it works for other things too which I'll show you but what we want to do is I want to make sure I'm on this list which you can see up here I am so we click on subscribers and manage subscribers so here it loads it it's not gonna load all of them because we have a lot so I'm gonna click unsubscribed 
and it changes stop status is unsubscribed. And then you'll notice down here at the bottom, it's about two pages worth. And all I need to do is click this top button here, and then I delete them. And it says, are you sure you want to do it? And I say yes. Now, if you have a lot of subscribers on here, if you have hundreds in your unsubscribe, um, down on the corner here, there's a way to view 100. It, it usually shows up right here. It, it sets it to 20, I think, and you can actually set it to view 100. And then we click again to just delete all of them. Click delete. Are you sure you want to delete them? Yes, I do. And what this is doing is this is making sure that I'm not paying for subscribers that are off my list. Um, easy cheese, right? But just do this every month because you don't want to pay for subscribers who aren't receiving your emails. And anyone who's unsubscribed is not receiving your emails. Okay, so how do we get the other ones? So what we want to do is you got to set two filters here. So we want to do, let's see, date added is before and I want to go at least three months back so it's November 13th I'm just gonna to go to August 1st real quick because that's kind of an easy three month plus number and then I add a column and I do no opens is the one I'm looking for no opens since and I match this exact same date so what I'm doing here is I'm telling Aweber I want a list of all of my subscribers who subscribed right date added so they were added to this list before August 1st and they have not opened an email since August 1st. What this means is they've been on my list for over three months and they are not opening my emails. Now the data can be skewed if you're only using, um, if you're not doing HTML emails or if you're not tracking the clicks or you're not tracking the opens, this data can be skewed. So I recommend use HTML emails and track all of the clicks and all of the opens to get as good of data as you can. But right here you can see 15,813 people. That's a lot of people who aren't opening. And at my rate, that's actually, it's $8 per thousand. So that's something like $120 per month right there. Now I don't want to just delete them right away. I want to re-engage them. So I'm going to save them as segment AA-11-13-16. For re-engagement. So I'm saving this as a segment. And what this does is in Aweber's system, it goes ahead and it puts these people as an individual segment. And you can see right here now with one click, I can see this entire group. So what I'm going to do is I need to move my screen over so you can see there's a little help button up here. So now I'm going to take click the help button. And I'm going to go email their support system from within. And it's down here. Can't find an answer. What's your inquiry about? A technical question. The list name is Ask Angels Broadcast. Question type is Other. One moment here, if you will. I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing here in a second here. That's it. So again, I'll make this a little bit larger. So I just create a segment of subscribers who are not engaged. The segment name is blank, what my segment was. Can you please move this list segment to my re-engagement list so I can take them through my re-engagement series? Thanks. Send help request. And that is it. They are now on the... Um, it's it's in the queue of their support system, and Aweber's team will indeed be moving that along to the re-engagement list. Um, what I'm going to do from there, once they're on the re-engagement list, I have a little kind of a system that I'm going to show you in a future video with AW Pro Tools, and it allows me to move the user when they click on a specific link inside of the email and I move them back to the broadcast list and I unsubscribe them from the re-engagement list and I send them emails with compelling headlines and free things to go obtain from our website and when they click and open and click to get the free thing that I'm giving them it shows that they are engaged it's a real person it's not a spam email it's not a fake email address it's not a dead email address and then I'll put them back into my broadcast where they catch our daily email emails that my wife Melanie sends uh, five to six days a week and they are kind of re-engaged into our system and as long as they continue to open emails from us and click on the emails I'm very happy to keep them on the list so this is really important as you grow because you can be not only spending a lot of money that you don't need to be spending in um, 
your email service provider fees, but you're also potentially harming your your kind of reach and you want to make sure that you're only sending to people who are opening and engaging with your emails. That helps you get the highest rate of deliverability. The email marketing game is all about deliverability. So in the next video, I'm actually going to go into that other tool. Uh, this one ran a little longer than expected already. And I'm going to show you exactly how I set up one of these links that has the re-engagement link. And I'll show you how I set up the automatic uh, deletion of my unsubscribes as well. And that's going to be through the other tool. So I'll catch you on that video. Be sure to subscribe so you get that video when it comes out. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video here and leave me a comment if you have any questions. My name is Miles Beckler. I'm happy to help and thank you very much for your time.